In this tutorial, we show you how to make use of armatures with gears to get an animation that looks like this, where the gear moves around the object but still rotates accurately. And you can also see it over here. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. In this tutorial, we're going to take our gear settings to the next level. First thing you do is go to Edit, Preferences, Add-ons, and type in Extra. Make sure you've got Add Mesh, Extra Objects turned on. Once you have that turned on, select the default cube, press X, delete, Numpad 7 to be in top orthographic view, Shift A, Mesh, and we're going to add a gear. The first gear we are adding is going to have, let's make it 48. And if you've noticed, I always use multiples here just for easy math, 48 and 4. And then we're going to add a, another gear, Shift A, Mesh, Gears, Gear, and we're going to make this six and the radius would be 0 0.5 and then we're going to press g y to grab it and along the y axis let's zoom in and make sure it looks appropriate that looks fine to me press shift a and we're going to add a armature select this small gear then press shift s and cursor to select it select this armature over here press tab Go into edit mode and you can always click over here to choose those options. Choose the top piece over there, press shift S and say selection to cursor. Numpad 7, this is perfectly neat now which is exactly what we want. Last thing we're going to do is press E to extrude, Y to lock to the Y axis and we're going to bring it to about, I don't know, there should be fine. And we're all in top orthographic view so everything is nice and neat. Now that we've got our basic setup, the first thing we want to do is press tab, uh, go to pose mode, well tab, go to edit mode, object mode, sorry, tab, object mode, or click over here. Um, the settings I have when I press tab is on key map, I've turned on tab for pie menu, just so you know. Right, so now we're going to select this mini gear, shift, select the armature, tab, pose mode, select this Armature, this bone at the top here, uh, the top piece of the armature is if, yeah, the, the bone basically, and press Control P, and you want to parent it to the bone. And by doing that, and we press R over here, we can see it move around now because it's parented to the top bone that's attached to the uh, bottom bone, right? Now, the next thing we want to do while we're still in pose mode, we want to select this over here. We want to change this to XYZ Yulia. We're going to select the top piece as well. We want to change this to XYZ Yulia. If you don't change it, you're going to have problems. It's essential. At the rotation, it can't rotate 360 degrees without changing it to that space format. Right. Now that we've got that, we can select this bottom one here. Go to the rotation Y axis. and to make this appear if you're wondering. On the Z axis, you want to right click, copy data path. Then click on this top one here, right click, and we're going to add a driver. And you could do all the settings here, which we will, and I'll show you where to do it if you don't like doing it. You have this disappears in a second. Well, the first thing we want to do is change this to a single property, armature, and we're going to pay control V to paste the data path we copied. And at the end here, you just want to type in dot Z at the end because for whatever reason, it leaves it out. And once you've got that, we're going to update the driver, close this. We're going to select this bottom um, bone. We're going to press R to rotate. And you can see it's turning, but not perfectly. Right click, back to where it was. So the way we fix that, we select this top piece here. You could right click and edit driver to go there, or we could go to the driver settings over here. Well, I trust my mouse to have a dead battery. Let's go here, yeah. drivers, perfect. Now click on Z, Yulia rotation. You can click on this or just press N, then go to drivers. And everything is set up perfectly here. Yeah. The only thing we need to change is the variable expression here. Yeah. Now, if you remembered, I made, well, we'll just do it here. Yeah. So I'm gonna go var times open bracket and because I was very careful with my dimensions, as long as you have the same dimensions, the same logic will apply. 
I believe we have 48 spokes divided by six spokes, close bracket, enter. Scroll down, update dependencies, click on this bottom one here, and press R, and we can see it fits in perfect every single time, which is great. And you can turn this off, you can press R, and you can watch it go perfectly each and every time. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And the only thing we're going to do now is add materials and animate it. So now we're going to go to object mode. And we're going to click on materials, add whatever material you like. I like to add glossy materials for metal. Material viewport, that's perfect. Just make this maybe 0.1. Well, it's too much. 0 0.2 is probably better. Yeah. 0 0.15. There we go. And let's click on this. New. Change it to glossy. And let's make this one, I don't know, green. 0 0.15. And uh, shift A mesh plane. S scale this puppy out. Hover over here, press numpad one to be in front orthographic view. And choose wireframe mode and press zoom in here, press G, Z, and just bring this down appropriately. Something like that should do. You can go to camera viewport. We can modify the camera settings by selecting it and clicking object data properties and just bringing it out a bit to about there and looking at how it looks for the material views and render view, maybe adjust the lighting. Let's make this sun, make this 30, I don't know, 10. And let's go to the render settings just to make it look a little bit better. Screen space reflection, bloom, ambient occlusion, let's turn off bloom. And just so that the noise looks a bit clearer, we can go to volumetrics, change this to two pixels, and volumetric shadow. And I don't necessarily like that camera angle, so I'll select the camera, numpad seven. I want a camera that really gets the, something like that. Control, alt, numpad zero. Perhaps we can zoom in. And last thing we want to do is select this plane. Let's add a material to it. And I'm just going to add a standard glossy material and make this 0 0.3. And we probably just want to play with our light. Maybe make the color five, numpad one. Nice angle, let's see how it looks over here. That should do perfect. All right, and then all we need to do now is uh, to animate this is switch to our timeline, press tab while we're in object mode already. Uh, but what we want to click on is our armature. There we go. It's looking pretty good. Tab, pose mode. And we can just uh, hover over the Z axis and press I. And then we can go to frame 50, press 360. Press I. Go to frame 100 and make it, I don't know, 900. Press I. And if we watch this, 
You can see it speed up and eventually stop at a random spot. Anyways, please don't forget to like and subscribe.